Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Blessed, Captain Galilee, IUIC Riley. And today I have Reed for me. Officer John. All praise to the Lord. We're going to go over a class today. It's going to be kind of short. Not going to be real long. I, um, maybe. I don't know. You know how stuff goes with the spirit moves us. But we're going to name this class, Though an Angel from Heaven. All right? Though an Angel from Heaven. And it's going to be centered around Galatians chapter 1. All right? So we're going to start off in Galatians chapter 1. And we're going to start at verse 1. All right, Galatians chapter 1, verse 1. Though an angel from heaven. All right, we'll go into what that means. This whole class is going to be centered around belief. All right, and standing strong when opposition comes, especially when it comes to doctrine. All right, they went through it during the time of the Galatians and the rest of the uh, our forefathers, and we're going to go through it today. All right, so Galatians chapter 1, verse 1. Let's start off there. The book of Galatians chapter 1 and verse 1. Go ahead. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. Right. So the Bible says Paul, an apostle. Can we see the apostle Paul real quick? Can we pull up our imagery regarding the apostle Paul and also what is actually biblical? Let's pull up the apostle Paul real quick. Read it one more time. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father. Right. Go ahead. Who raised him from the dead. Right. So it says, Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ. Now, what's important about that is the apostle Paul did not learn from man. Right. So watch this. Go to the back book of Acts, chapter 22, because we did a, uh, a, a street teaching uh, a while back. Video got a, got a lot of views and people was getting the comments saying stuff like, um, you know, we were wrong when we said that Christ taught the Apostle Paul and it wasn't him. It was actually Gamaliel. Well, we're not ignorant to that fact. We know that Gamaliel taught Paul, but Gamaliel didn't teach Paul Christ. All right. Uh, go to Acts 22, verse 3. The book of Acts chapter 22 and verse 3. Go ahead. I am verily a man which am a Jew, uh -huh. born in Tarsus. A city in Cilicia. That's right. This is Paul. He said, I was born in Tarsus, a city of Cilicia. Go ahead. Yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel. Right there. Right there. There you go. He was brought up in the feet of a man named Gamaliel. Gamaliel was a doctor of the law. Go ahead. And taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers. Read. And was zealous towards God as ye all are this day. Right, so Paul said, I would grew up and I taught, I would learn at the feet of Gamaliel. So what does Paul mean when he says he's an apostle not by man, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ? What does he mean by that? Go to Acts chapter 22. I'm not gonna read Acts chapter nine because Bishop went over that this past Sabbath. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Go to Acts chapter 26, verse nine through 18. We'll read it kind of quick. The book of Acts chapter 26 and verse nine. Go ahead. I verily thought with myself, that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Remember we just read in Acts 22 that Paul learned at the feet of Gamaliel. Gamaliel was known as a great doctor of the law. This man was an excellent teacher. He taught Paul and, and Herod and all them in the, in the schools. You understand? So he learned from the, the, the feet of this man, at the feet of this man, right? And he learned the perfect manners of the laws and was zealous of the law. So now it says here in Acts 26 and 9, he is explaining to King Agrippa, Herod Agrippa. He said, look, I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Paul went against the doctrine of Christ at first. Go ahead. Which thing I also did in Jerusalem. Go ahead. And many of the saints did I shut up in prison. Uh -huh. Having received authority from the chief priest. Go ahead. And when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. Right. So Paul got many of the brothers and sisters put in prison and put to death. Paul got his own brothers and sisters put to death because of his zeal for the law. He thought that the doctrine of Christ was blasphemy against Moses because he learned the perfect way of the law of Moses, or at least he thought he did. Go ahead. Verse 11, uh -huh. and I punished them often in every synagogue mm -hmm. and compelled them to blaspheme. Breathe. And being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto strange They said he was exceedingly mad. That don't mean he was angry. I mean, he was crazy about this thing. He was a fanatic. You ever see somebody that's fanatical about their team sport or their sorority or fraternity or whatever? They're, they're all my mother. You ever see somebody like that? They'll fight you over being a Q dog. They'll fight you over they, uh, the Dallas Cowboys. They'll fight you over that. You say something wrong about their favorite football player or basketball player, and they'll be ready to choke you to death, put you to death. 
Right. They're fanatical. You understand? That's what Paul was as it pertained to the law of Moses. He said he was exceeding mad. All right? I mean, he was bugged out. When it came to the law of Moses, he was ready to kill what? for Moses. You understand? Go ahead. And being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them, even unto strange cities. He was driven by that anger. He was driven by the thought of, hey, look, they blaspheming this whole doctrine of Christ. That ain't going down on my watch. As long as I'm breathing, I'm going to go and persecute these people. That's why I said I persecuted them, even to strange cities. He followed them everywhere. That's called being mad. Okay, go ahead. Whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest, Go ahead. at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven mm. above the brightness of the sun. Oh, my God. That's some, I just seen something. He said, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven. What's the next part say? Above the brightness of the sun. Mm. Remember that thought. We're going to read something later. That's going to make that clearer to you. So when he saw, he saw a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun. That's because that light was created first. But we're going to get on that later. You it? Shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. Breathe. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me mm -hmm. and saying in the Hebrew song, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Mm -hmm. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Read. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. So that light said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Remember that light was brighter than the sun. He couldn't see. Go ahead. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Right. So that's why he said, I am not a man, but of Christ. Because he said, watch what Christ said to him. He said, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which, meaning future, I will appear unto thee. Somebody, somebody say, people say stuff like, Apostle Paul was a blasphemer and Christ never dealt with him. But he telling you, Christ told me he going to deal with me in the future, moving forward. The Apostle Paul, Christ dealt with him. Understand? Christ dealt with the Apostle Paul, not just that one time when he, read, when he met him on the road to Damascus, but even future. So the revelations that you, watch this, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 37, real quick. We'll come right back here. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 37. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 37. Go ahead. If any man think himself to be a prophet Read. or spiritual, mm -hmm. let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. The things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. What com For what, Lord? Christ dealt with Paul in Damascus. He followed. The Lord dealt with him directly. Right? right? Go from there. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. You see that? Wait a minute. Paul didn't live during the time of Christ. What does he mean, be a follower of me, even as I also am of Christ? Paul didn't live during the time. Paul was uh, young, young when Christ was around. 30 some years later is when we see, uh, well, really about. 11 to 12 years later, when you see Apostle Paul ministry start, I think it's like 41 to 44 AD, maybe. So 9, 10, 12 years after Christ had dead, died, buried, and resurrected and gone to the Father, the Apostle Paul came on the scene afterwards. So he didn't walk with Christ when he lived, but Christ taught Paul, dealt with Paul, revealed things in Paul. You understand? Watch this. Keep reading. Verse 2, now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. And, and keep the ordinances as I delivered unto you. Where did he get those ordinances? He got it from Christ. Christ gave him the revelation and the understanding that he had. Go back to Acts 26, read 16 again. Acts 26, 16. Yep. But rise and stand upon thy feet, uh -huh. for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. Read. To make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Read. Delivering thee from the people 
and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. To do what? To open their eyes. To open their eyes. And to turn them from darkness to light. To turn them from darkness to light. Read. And from the power of Satan unto God. Wait a minute. Hold up. To turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God. That's explained in Genesis 1 verse 3 right there. If you're in the spirit and you understand. To turn them from Satan to God, from darkness to light. The darkness is Satan and his angels. The light is Christ and his angels. Read it again. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. Read. And from the power of Satan unto God. Read. That they may receive forgiveness of sins mm -hmm. and an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Right. So I'll praise to the most high. So the apostle Paul, Christ dealt with the apostle Paul. That's why he said, go back to Galatians 1 verse 1 again. You cannot forget the thought. Galatians 1 and verse 1. Go ahead. Paul, an apostle, not of men. Not of men. Neither by man. And neither by man. Go ahead. But by Jesus Christ. But by Jesus Christ. What does he mean, but by Jesus Christ? We just went through it. Christ is the one that dealt with him and taught him. You understand that? Yes, he learned at Gamaliel's feet as a young man. But that's why I go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. So. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, and verse 11. Yep. When I was a child, I spake as a child. When he was a child and understanding, he spake as a child. He learned from Gamaliel. He learned the law of Moses under Gamaliel. He learned what it meant to be a Pharisee. He was zealous of the law of Moses, the customs and ordinances of the forefathers. But that whole time he was reading... Christ was right there the whole time. He just couldn't see it. He said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. Meaning when I taught, when I taught the law of Moses, I taught it from the interpretation, the understanding of a child. I wasn't on a man's level yet. Go ahead. I understood as a child. And I understood the laws and the commandments as a child. Go ahead. I thought as a child. Read. But when I became a man. But when I became a man, meaning when I was knocked off that horse. You understand that? When, when the Lord knocked me down and the light came to me and Christ started dealing with me, I realized now I'm a man. Now I have understanding of men. Because at first I had the understanding of a child. Go ahead. I put away childish things. He said, I put away childish things. So we always use that, you know, to say, brothers, you got to grow up. Stop playing the video games. You know, stop doing this. Stop doing that. Grow up, be men, get a job. Okay, and we can use it for that. But in context... He's talking about his understanding. Remember, he's going into charity. What about charity? He didn't understand charity. He persecuted the church of Christ. When he got to understand of charity, he said, damn, I picked against the pricks. I didn't know no better. I was a child. But now I'm a man. I understand that Christ, that's that lamb that, uh, that went into the holiest of holy with the, the high priest going into the holiest of holy with the lamb, that was symbolic of Christ. The meat offerings and the drink offerings and the sin offerings, all that symbolic of Christ. He is the temple. You understand? I'm telling you, Paul didn't know all that at first. And he understood a lot. But he went on the level that he became when Christ dealt with him. So to hear what you Negro that said, Apostle Paul went off. Apostle Paul did not go off. He got more understanding. The water rose. You understand? Did you finish that? All right, uh, where I'm at, go back to uh, Galatians 1 now. Sure. Galatians 1, verse 11. The book of Galatians 1 and verse 11. Go ahead. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. The gospel that Paul was preaching was not after man. It was not man's gospel. Go ahead. For I neither received it of man. Because a man didn't teach it to him. Neither was I taught it. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. He was taught by Christ. Watch this. Go to 1 Corinthians 15. Bishop went over it this past Sabbath. All praise to the Lord. Verse 7. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 7. Go ahead. After that, he was seen of James. Mm -hmm. Then of all the apostles. Talking about Christ. Read. And last of all, he was seen of me. Also as one born out of due time. So Paul said, I was the last one to see him. Go ahead. For I am the least of the apostles. He said, I'm the least of the apostles. Why? Because he was called during a time where he once persecuted the church. He's going to tell you that. Go ahead. 
that I'm not meet to be called an apostle. He said that I ain't even meet to, I ain't even worthy to be called an apostle. Why? Because I persecuted the church of God. Because he pr- kicked against the pricks. He persecuted the church of God. Go ahead. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. Breathe. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. Right. Christ had to be with Paul. Christ had to walk with Paul. Why? Because he was once a blasphemer. He was once a persecutor, a murderer, killed his own brothers and sisters and thought that he was doing God's service. And then what Christ said was going to happen. Give me that, John 16, verse uh, 1 and 2. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you, that you should, that ye should not be offended. Talking to the apostles. Go ahead. They shall put you out of the synagogue. They're going to put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh. Read. That whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God service. You hear that? He think he doing God service. That's what Paul thought. He thought he was doing God service by persecuting his brethren that believed on Christ. He said, yo, they blasphemers. Anybody of this way going to get it. You understand? That, that was his spirit, right? He was zealous. Okay? So the Lord said, all right, I'm going to have mercy on him. But you're going to go through a lot for my name's sake. Go back. Galatians 1 and 2 now. Get these images ready of the, the maps. Of, Galatians 1 verse 2. The book of Galatians 1 verse 2. Go ahead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Understand something. The Galatians was multiple churches. It wasn't just one church. It was multiple churches in Galatia. We're going to go through that here in a minute. Pull them up real quick. There were multiple churches in Galatia. Okay? All right, zoom in if you can. I don't know if it's going to be pixelated, but zoom in. All right, so this is Galatia. Galatia is a country, modern-day Turkey. Here are the churches. Read that. Antioch. Antioch was a church in Galatia. Lystra. Lystra was a church in uh, Galatia. Read. Iconium. Iconium was a church in Galatia. And Derby. And Derby was also a church in Galatia. So the churches in Galatia. Go from there. Go to Acts chapter 13, verse 14. Give me that image, the brown image, the brown back where I like it a little better. Galatia is modern day Turkey. The book of Acts, chapter 13, and verse 14. Go ahead. But when they departed from Perga, mm-hmm. they came to Antioch in Pis- Pisidia. Read. You and see we- Perga? Y'all see Perga down there? All right, y'all see Perga at the bottom? So they traveled from Perga. Go ahead. They came to Antioch in Pisidia. And they went from Perga up to Antioch in Pisidia. Now, Antioch is named after Antiochus. Antiochus is what Antioch is named after. So this Antioch, you had an Antioch in Syria, you see bottom, in the bottom right-hand corner. And you also had an Antioch in Pisidia, the Pisidian Antioch, which was in Galatia. It was in the corner of the country known as Galatia. Now, they, they traveled from Perga up to Galatia. Go ahead. And went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. So they, and they went into the synagogue on the Sabbath. There was a synagogue in Antioch of Pisidia. That is in Galatia. That's one of the churches of Galatia. Go to Acts chapter 14, read verse 1. The book of Acts 14, verse 1. Go ahead. And it came to pass in Iconium. And so you remember that. Go back to the map. It said it came to pass where? In Iconium. In Iconium. Iconium. You see it right there in the middle of the map. Iconium. That is in Galatia. So you had Antioch and Pisidia. You had Iconium. I want you to uh, keep reading. That they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews. Uh Uh-huh. And so spake that a great multitude both of the Jews and also of the Greeks believed. Right. That was in Iconium. Read. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles Read. and made their minds evil affected against the brethren. So the unbelieving Jews, they stirred up the, no- the northern kingdom. They stirred them up. Go ahead. Long time, therefore, abode they speaking boldly in the Lord. But our forefathers weren't afraid. They stood boldly and spoke in the name of the Lord in Turkey. Go ahead. Which gave testimony unto the word of his grace. Go ahead. And granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Go ahead. But the multitude of the city was divided, and part held with the Jews, and part held with the apostles. Come on. And there was an assault made both of the Gentiles. And when there was an assault made both of the Gentiles, go ahead. And when there was an assault made both of the Gentiles, uh-huh. and also of the Jews with their rulers, go ahead. to use them despitefully and to stone them. Read. Then were... Then you, you, were can put, you can put us at the top or something, you just got to lead a map up the whole time. Come on, brothers. Read again. 
Verse 6, they were aware of it and fled unto Lystra they, and Derby. They fled unto Lystra and Derby. There were synagogues in Lystra and Derby. Okay, go ahead. Cities of Lyconia and unto the region that lieth round about. Read. And there they preached the gospel. And there they preached the gospel. Watch this. Go to Acts chapter 16 now. Go to Acts chapter 16. Let's read verse 1. Acts 16 verse 1. Come on. Then came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy. So now, the set, now they're coming back to Derby and Lystra, and it says, and behold, a certain disciple named who? Timothy. So Timothy, this is where you find Timothy at for the first time. Go ahead. The son of a certain woman, which was a Jewess. Read. And believed, but his father was a Greek. Right. So his father was a Greek-speaking Jew. And his, his mother was a Jewess, meaning she went to the synagogue. She, she believed in keeping the law of Moses. Go ahead. Which was well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. So the, the young brother, Timothy, had a good report. He was a bright young man in the truth. That's why when you go to the book of Timothy, Paul called him my own son in the faith. You understand? Through Christ I have begotten thee. Why? This young brother was in the spirit. He was in the spirit. And he ended up becoming a bishop. In the, in the church of Ephesus later on. All right, go ahead. Him would Paul have to go forth with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in those quarters. Uh -huh. For they knew all that his father was a Greek. Right, because he didn't go up under the customs, read. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decrees for the keep. Read. There were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem. Watch this. And as they went through these cities, what cities? The cities in Galatia. Lystra, Iconium, Derby, Antioch and Pisidia, so on and so forth. It said as they went through the city, they delivered them the decrees for it to keep. Go ahead. There were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem. Same thing when we get the reports or get the um, the instruction from the leadership, right? Bishop give an order, Bishop Yawasop give an order, the deacons give an order. We go to Africa, we go to Spain, we go to Italy, wherever we got these congregations, the Caribbean islands, Riley, it don't matter where we at. Everybody do the same thing. Everybody dressed the same. Everybody got the flags up in the school. Everybody back backdrop used to look the same. We used the same camera. We used the same speakers. We used the same microphones. We had the same security protocol. And what happens when we do that? Let's read. And so were the churches established in the faith. Yeah, and that's how the church become established in the faith, by following the word of the apostles in Jerusalem. That is equivalent to our bishops and deacons today. Go ahead. And increase in number daily. Right. And that's why IUIC growing because of that. Never forget that. Go ahead. Now, when they had gone throughout Phrygia and the region of Galatia uh -huh. and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. Right. So they went all throughout Galatia teaching the word of God. There were churches in Galatia. Go back to Galatians 1. Let's read verse 2 again. Sure. Galatians 1 and verse 2. Come on. And now the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Uh -huh. Grace be to you and peace from, the God, from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Who gave himself for our sins. Read. That he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. So at that time, the present evil world obviously was wrong. Let's go to uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. It says, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. During that time, obviously, it was Rome. Rome, Rome. All right, go ahead. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Go ahead. Let no man deceive you by any means. Go ahead. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Meaning the Israelites would have to forget who they were. That's, how, that's what happened to us. We had amnesia, spiritual amnesia. We forgot everything. Okay, go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed. The man of sin, read. The son of perdition. The man of sin, the son of perdition, go ahead. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. Right, here go their presidents, their intellectuals, their scientists, their chemists, right? Their physicians, their everything. Go ahead. Or that is worshipped so that he as God uh -huh. sitteth in the temple of God, Read. showing himself that he is God. He got to show you that he God. He got to show you that he Christ. He got to show you that he the angels. He got to show you that he's a politician, a leader. You understand? An intellectual. He ruled earth. Watch this. Um, skip down to verse 7. 
Verse 7. Go ahead. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Look at that, your boy Bill Clinton. He was a real demon. He is a real demon. He ain't dead. Bill Clinton and his wife, real deal demons from the state of Arkansas. Old down home southern demon. You understand? The Bible says what? For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. So during the time that Paul was living, it was already wrong. Rome was already rolling. He said the mystery of iniquity already doth work. You just don't know it. Go ahead. Only he who now letteth will let uh -huh. until he be taken out of the way. Go ahead. Watch this. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Now we re now we revealing the wicked. Now everybody can see that the white man is the wicked. We've been telling y'all for years. Leadership been telling you for years. Bishop and them 30 plus years and their elders before them telling you, yo, this so-called white man is the devil. Malcolm X said the same thing. Hey, yo, this white man the devil. Remember his, his homeboy asked, I forgot the guy's name, brother something. I can't remember his name. He was a devil. He ended up turning on him. But he told him when they were in prison together, he said, have you ever known a good white person? And he started reminiscing in his life of everybody from his school teacher to the Ku Klux Klan to the, 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 the welfare lady that took him from his mother and them to all that. And he realized, I ain't never met a good one. Then the white girl he was sleeping with that didn't get number one year while him and his homeboy get 14, 20 years. You understand that? So the mystery of iniquity have already worked, and then that wicked shall be revealed. Go ahead. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's the prophet's teaching, the word of God. We teach the word of God, and it consumes him. That's why he say, yo, we got to get rid of these dudes in purple and gold. Go ahead. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Christ going to destroy with the brightness of his coming. Go ahead. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. It say, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Go ahead. With all power uh -huh. and signs and lying wonders. Watch this, go and ahead. With all deceivableness mm. of unrighteousness in them that perish. Show us our people. Verse no, number 10, I believe. Show us our people because our people ain't innocent. We caught up in this too. That's why the, that's why he revert to us right now. Get back to verse 10 again. Verse 10, and with all deceivableness. So the white man undeceived us, read. Of unrighteousness uh -huh. in them that perish. These young shooters. Look at these young shooters, these young gang members. You understand that? murderers. You understand? The white man put that spirit on us. We already had it in us. Now he done made it accessible unto us. Go ahead. Because they received not the love of the truth. Because we didn't receive the love of God, laws, statutes, and commandments. We ain't taught our kids to love the, the love the Lord. To love the commandments. To love God. We ain't done that. So now we got young shooters on the block. Now, that's why when Hillary Clinton say they super predators, well, guess what? They fabricated evil to turn you into a super predator to make it seem like they prophets. To make it seem like they the all wise, the all knowing. No, they just went into the Bible and found what God says we should not do. And they made that accessible to us. So now we will become what they say we are. We will become that byword and fulfill the prophecy that was written. You don't find that suspicious? Come on. Because they received not the love of the truth. So we didn't receive the love of the truth. Go ahead. That they might be saved. That they might be saved. I thought I had more images than that. The one down at the bottom, number 11 I had. The, like the down at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look how we fight each other. Look how we get in each other's face. How we deal with each other. Go ahead. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Show that strong delusion. Number 12. Show that strong delusion for me. So you see us in the schools fighting and so on and so forth. Show her the strong delusion. What we end up being at? In the church. We sit behind that white man and learn his doctrine, learn his gospel, learn his, learn his rendition of the Bible. Read again. And for this cause, uh -huh. God shall send them strong delusions. Read. That they should believe a lie. And that's why our people believe lies now. Go ahead. That they all might be damned. That they all might be damned. That damned is going into condemnation condemnation, the second death. That's why that's happening. Go ahead. Who believe not the truth. Because we don't believe the truth, we follow them. Go ahead. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. And we had pleasure in their sins and their unrighteousness. Watch this. Keep them, keep them pitched. Go back. That's good right there. I like that. We're going to show that a little bit later. Go back. Go to Ephesians 2 and 1 right quick. I'm going to show you something about this spirit right here. Because our people don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Why is there a church on every corner? Why is there uh, dope dealers on every corner? Why is there a, a liquor store in every corner? Why is the cigarettes and the, and the tobacco and everything that defile you in the front right behind the counter, but the, the medicine in the back of the pharmacy? You actually got to go back there with a prescri prescription to get it. But everything that you need, that you don't need, that entices you, that does not heal you, is right there in the front. Why is that? 
Ephesians 2 and 1. The book of Ephesians 2 and verse 1. Go ahead. And you have he quickened uh -huh. who were dead in trespasses and sins. We was dead in the trespasses and sins of the Christian church, of the gangs, of the drug dealing, in and out of prison. That was us. Go ahead. Where in time past, uh -huh. ye walked according to the course of this world. The course of this world is that religion. The course of this world is that idolatry. Go ahead. According to the prince of the power of the air. Go back to that image of that devil in the synagogue. Right there. Read it again. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the prince of the power of the air. Give me 19 real quick. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that you cannot see, the spirit that you cannot see. Watch this. Go to the book of First Peter chapter five, verse eight, because in Ephesians, it says the prince of the power of the air. Ephesians chapter five, verse eight. I mean, first Peter chapter five, verse eight. Excuse me. First Peter five and verse eight. Watch this. Be sober, uh, be vigilant, read. because your adversary, the devil, mm. as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Show me the devil. Show me Satan. Because I know when y'all think of Satan, y'all think of a red man with a pitchfork. No. Satan was in the heavens with the Lord. Give me uh, Joel 1 and 6 real quick. Satan was in the heavens with the Lord. Satan got to give a report. The prince of the power of the air. Go ahead, read it. The book of Job, chapter 1 and verse 6. Come on. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present, present themselves before the Lord. So the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. Read. And Satan came also among them. And Satan came also among them. Yes. Yes. There's a such thing as evil spirits. There's a such thing as evil angels. Satan is the head of the evil angels. He is the captain of the evil angels, brothers and sisters. He was in the heavens. <laughs> we don't understand what we're reading. And his spirit is in the white man. Read again. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. Read. And Satan came also among them. Read. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Whence comest thou, Satan? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And from walking up and down in it. Go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 12. I didn't have this written. Go to Matthew chapter 12, verse 43, regarding those spirits. So Satan came and reported to the Father because Satan do what Christ and the Father give him instruction to do. So Satan can only touch you if the Father give him permission to touch you. Go back. I mean, Matthew 12. Matthew 12, verse 43. You can drop that. When the unclean spirit is gone out of man. When the unclean spirit gone out of man, mean you repent. Go ahead. He walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. That's Satan and his angels. They walk through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. They want a body to dwell in. They want a body to rest in. Go ahead. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. The house is you. You the house. He said, you know what? He ain't watched porn in a while. Let me go check on him. He ain't smoked dope in a while. Let me go check on him. He ain't talked to that female or she ain't talked to that guy in a while. Let me get them to send a DM to him to see if they fall victim, to see if they fall short. That's how Satan moved. You don't repent it. The spirit done left you. But you stop studying, you stop doing the work of the Lord. You got an excuse why you can't come to the Sabbath. You got Sabbath sickness every damn week. We don't see you for a month, two months. Guess what's slowly creeping back in? Satan. Because he always checking. He an old demon. And he multiply himself among his evil angels. And he send them out. He dispatched them. Hey, go check on Gedaliah. Hey, go check on John. Go check on this sister. Go check on that brother. See if they still following Christ. See if they studying. And if they not, Creep your way back in there. Watch this. He's going to tell you that. Keep reading. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. He see that Christ ain't there, that you ain't been doing the work. You ain't been watching class. You ain't been reading four chapters a day. He see that. And he see it and take advantage of it and manipulate it. Watch this. Revelation 3, verse 20. We'll come right back. Revelation 3, verse 20. 
because it mentions he come back to that house and find it empty, swept, and garnished. He peeked through the window and see, oh, it's empty in here. Christ ain't dwelling in here. Revelation 3 and 20. Come on. Revelation 3, verse 20. Go ahead. Behold, I stand at the door mm. and knock. This is Christ. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. The knock is your mind, your spirit. Christ knocking at the door. Hey, let me in. Let me come sup with you. Watch this. Come on. If any man hear my voice. You hear my voice. You heard the scriptures. You understand. You're an Israelite. You know you got to keep the commandments. Go ahead. And open the door. And open that door. You open your spirit to the Lord. You say, I want to learn. I want to be taught. Go ahead. I will come into him. Great. And will sup with him. Christ said, I'll come in there with you. That's what the Bible means when he said he find it empty, swept, and garnished. Meaning Christ ain't in the living room. Christ ain't sitting there, so when Satan peek his head in there, damn, there go Christ. Hey, man, I mean, let's, we can't get him now. That's why when you read it, say he stopped the tempting for a season, hoping that you'll get weak over time or you'll get arrogant or you'll want preeminence. And, and Satan say, vanity. Ah, my favorite sin. I can sneak in there. Go ahead. And he with me. And he with me. Go ahead. You finish that out with verse 20? Yes, sir. That's in the verse 20? Yes, All right, go back. Matthew 12 and 44. Matthew 12, verse 44. Come on. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. Read. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. He find it empty, swept, and garnished. Christ ain't there because you didn't open the door no more. You stop opening the door for Christ. How you stop opening the door for Christ? Give me the book of uh, Proverbs 28, 13. How do you stop opening the door for Christ? Let's see. Because remember, Christ is truth and mercy. Grace and truth. The book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. You stop. Uh, <laughs> you stop opening the door for Christ because you want to sin. So you start hiding yourself. You say, I don't want to see Christ. I don't want to deal with him. I don't want to. I'm not going to the Sabbath because somebody going to notice that I've been gone for a while. Somebody going to notice I smell like weed. The brothers might ask to look through my phone. Uh-uh, I ain't going. No, I'm going to stay right where I'm at so I can stay in my sin. I'm going to hide my sin from Christ. But you can't hide your sin from him. He see it all. His angels see it all. They standing right there. As you doing whatever you doing, the angels standing right there taking a record to it. That's a scary. You remember how back in the day when you be watching some of you ain't know you're supposed to be watching? Well, you know you ain't supposed to be watching. And you feel like your grandmama that died or your auntie. So I feel like somebody watching me. That's that angel. That blink. Black angel standing right there. You gotta have somebody watching me. You know, I know, I know I ain't alone. You ever feel that feeling like I ain't alone? Or something move real quick in the corner. You're like, what the hell? That be your angel. He, he revealed himself to you just for a moment to let you know I'm here. I'm watching you. You ain't getting away with this. And we just said, oh, man, I guess I must have seen something. No, you didn't just see something. You saw one of God's angels right here. See, y'all in the spirit now. All praises. Y'all in the spirit. That angel zoop through that real quick. There's a speed of light flash by your eyes. And you say, oh, I ain't supposed to be doing this. Let me stop watching this, Lord. Lord, forgive me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Literally happens. Go back to <laughs> Proverbs 28, 13. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13. Go ahead. He that covered his sin shall not prosper. It said, he that covered his sin shall not prosper. Go ahead. But whoso confess it. But if you confess your sin, go ahead. And forsake it. And you forsake your sin, go ahead. Shall have mercy. You're going to have mercy. The Lord going to deal with you, brethren. The Lord going to deal with your sisters. If you forsake your sin, stop trying to cover your sin. You understand? Go to, go to Job 4, 13. I'm going to show you something. We were talking about how the angels of the Lord just be around us and we don't even know it. And we see something out the corner of our eye and we look over there real quick and there's nothing there. But that's that angel. You just don't know it. Read that for me. Job 4, verse 13. In thoughts from the visions of the night, when, the deep, when deep sleep falleth on men, Read. fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Why? Because you're seeing stuff. You're hearing stuff. You some catch the corner of your eye. Go ahead. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. <laughs> Then a spirit sing come across your face and the hair your head stand up and say, oh, Lord, what is this? What? Go ahead. Verse 16, it stood still, but I cannot discern the form thereof. 
an image was before mine eyes. There was silence. And I heard a voice saying, Read. Shall mortal man be more just than God? Read. Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Wait a minute. It says, Shall a mortal man be more just than God? You know what the angel's saying? You think God don't see what you're doing? You think you're more just than God? You think you're so righteous and moving right? I'm here. Go to Matthew 18 11. No, 18 teens. I'm here. I see you. I'm watching you. Read that for me. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 10. That's scary when you think about it. Go ahead. Take no, heed. That's, that's in Matthew. Yes, sir. Yeah, Matthew, that's it. Matthew 18 and verse 10. Go ahead. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. Go ahead. For I say unto you that in heaven, their angels. What? Their angels. In heaven, their angels, read. Do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. The, the, the angels come back and give report to the Father of the evil that you're doing behind closed doors. You think you're getting away, and you're not. You think you're getting over. You ain't. They there. And they can cloak themselves where you can't see them. They could be seeing you from their spiritual realm that they in. They could be standing right next to you. It looks just like your room, just like your bed. Same post on the wall, but it's a whole different realm. And they're standing right there next to the bed while you're doing the evil that you're doing. Why you funny came with so give me uh the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. So rock 23, 19. You better be careful. We better be careful. So rock 23, 19. Yes, sir. The book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 19. Come on. Such a man only fear the eyes of men. See, we only be fearing the eyes of men, but watch this though. And know if not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times. Brighter than the sun. That's his angels. They go right back to the children of light. In Genesis 1, it was Christ and his angels. And they're righteous. And they're brighter than the sun. And they're looking at you, watching you as you do your filth and your dirt behind closed doors, thinking don't nobody see it, thinking you ain't got to confess it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Beholding all the ways of men mm. and considering the most secret parts. How they consider the most secret parts? Because they come down and they see you in your secrets. Read. Verse 20. He knew all things ere ever they were created. He knew, he saw, he knew all things ere ever they were created. Go ahead. So also after they were perfect, perfected, perfected, he looked upon them all. Mm. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. Read. And where he suspected not. He shall be taken. He get judged in the streets. Then don't nobody know why that happened. Why the Lord let that happen? You didn't see the evil he was doing behind closed doors. You didn't see the evil that he was doing that nobody knew about. You didn't know he was a pedophile. You didn't know that he was doing wickedness. You didn't know that he was on uh, back, what they call that, black market and stuff like that, looking at pornography of three, four, five-year-old little girls. They got stuff like that that exists. And the white man track you down. Boo -doo -doo -doo. FBI, come pull up at your door. That happened in North Carolina one time. I'm just saying. Happened in North Carolina. Like, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Go only in what's how you get him. Go back. Satan be roaming around. <laughs> Go to Ephesians 6 and 11 right quick. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Come on. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 11. Go ahead. Put on the whole armor of God. So don't forget the thought. Remember, we... We was, go back to Galatians 1 and 4 real quick, because I know they played and forgot. We don't went off on a tangent. Galatians 1 and verse 4. Who gave himself for our sins. Christ. That he might deliver us from the present evil world. From the present evil world. That's what we're going over. This present evil world that got us involved in sin. Go ahead. According to the will of God and our Father. Right. Go back. Ephesians 6 and 11. Ephesians 6 and 11. Go ahead. Put on the whole armor of God. So we got to put on this whole Bible. Learn the whole Bible. Old Testament, Apocrypha, New Testament. Learn it all. Go ahead. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That we may be able to stand against the tricks of Satan. Go ahead. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ah, against, pay attention to this. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Go ahead. But against principalities. But against principalities. Against powers. Against powers. Come on, y'all. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. These evil politicians. These evil Christian pastors and Catholic priests. Right? The Pope and so on and so forth. These men. 
These are the ones right here that the Bible talking about. You understand? Give me that black devil too. 13A, I think it is. Right before 13, right before the, yeah, right there. Because it ain't just, it ain't just uh, Esau. Because remember it said the spirit that now dwelleth in the children of disobedience. Read it again. You got some black people that's up there in the top of uh, the Illuminati. They up there helping these Amalekites and stuff out too. Yeah, that's why they rain P. Diddy right now. That's why they rain all these politicians and all them. Read it again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, mm. against powers, uh -huh. against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Go ahead. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You understand these churches and so on and so forth. Doing much evil, y'all. And now that spirit is in the children of disobedience. You finish that out? Yeah, but uh no, sir. Go to um first Maccabees. Matter of fact, get wisdom of Solomon 14, 12. I think we dealt with this enough. Wisdom of Solomon 14, 12. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. Uh -huh. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. So the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Spiritual fornication. Go ahead. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. And by the invention of idolatry, that's the corruption of life. That's what his wickedness entered into the earth, this present evil world. Go ahead. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Right, because the Lord is going to destroy all the idols. Go ahead. For by the vainglory of men, they entered into the world. Because men wanted vainglory. Men want to be worshipped as God. Go ahead. And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Mm -hmm. For a father afflicted with uncertainty. Skip down to verse 16 for the sake of time. Verse 16. Thus in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong Go ahead. was kept as a law, uh -huh. and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. Right. So thus in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. Ungodly customs, like Easter, which is coming up this weekend. Wickedness. Thanksgiving, wickedness. Christmas, wickedness. Right? Bacchanal. Wickedness, carnival, wickedness, Mardi Gras, wickedness. All that's wickedness that the Lord tells us not to be involved in, brethren. Go back to Galatians 4, uh, 1, verse 4 and 5. The book of Galatians, chapter 1, and verse 4. Go ahead. Who gave himself for our sins. Who gave himself for our sins. It's talking about Christ, read. That he might deliver us from this present evil world. That he can deliver us from this present evil world. Go ahead. According to the will of God ah. and our Father. Read. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Go ahead. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. Go ahead. Unto another gospel. Unto another gospel. He says, I'm, I'm so, so surprised that you so far. Wait a minute. Read it again. You got to read that again. Yes, sir. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. Read. Unto another gospel. Unto another gospel. Read. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. And there's some that trouble you and pervert the gospel of Christ. We gonna de we're dealing with that now. That wasn't just then. We're dealing with it now. Watch this. Go to the book of... Um, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, and read verse 4. Watch 2 this. Corinthians 11 and verse 4. Come on. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, Come on. whom we have not preached, whom we have not preached, read. Or if you receive another spirit. If y'all got another Jesus, y'all can post up, or you can just post up somebody that would preach another Jesus. Whatever. Go ahead. Or if you receive another spirit. If you receive another spirit, go ahead. Which ye have not received. Come on. Or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might, bear, ye might well bear with him. Right. Somebody came teaching us another Jesus, another doctrine, another gospel, another spirit we received. From who? From these Christian church. Look at this. We all grew up in this filth, this wickedness. We didn't know what the hell was going on. But we all knew something ain't right about this place. Before we got here, grandma wasn't falling out, foaming from the mouth. Before we got here, my auntie wasn't rolling around on the ground. Before we got here, my granddaddy wasn't running around acting a fool. But they start playing that music, and it's something that that man up there in that podium said. And now, everybody running around the church out their mind. But when they leave the church, they completely sing. It's a spirit. It is a spirit. 
And he said, if they preach another gospel, it's coming with another spirit. Best believe that. And guess what? The most covetous people is in the churches. The most covetous people is in the church. The most covetous people is the pastor. Hey. Had a man tell us yesterday, oh, if you ain't paying them tithes and offerings, we ain't talking about that. What the hell are you talking about? You understand? Go back. Well, you read 2 Corinthians 11, right? Yes, sir. All right. Go from there. Go back to Galatians chapter 2 now, verse 4 through 6. Galatians chapter 2, verse 4 through 6. Let's read that. Galatians 2, verse 4. Come on. And that because of false brethren unaware brought in, mm. who came in privily to spy out our liberty. There are going to be Israelites that come in amongst us, that sit amongst us, that we think is really in the spirit, but we're going to find out in the process of time that they only here to spy out our liberty. Sit amongst us and learn how we do things and go report back to whomever. William O'Neill's. Traitors, betray us. Go ahead. Which we have in Christ Jesus. Come on. That they might bring us into bondage. And they want to bring us back into bondage, meaning back into Christian church in today's time. During that time, it was back to animal sacrifice. Nonetheless, they want to get us going backwards from Christ. Another gospel. That's why Paul said, I can't believe y'all so soon removed from him that called into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you. Those that troubled us was the scribes and the Pharisees. Go ahead. To whom we gave place by subjection. Read. No, not for an hour. We ain't give them nothing. Our forefathers didn't get them an hour to speak. Hell no. As soon as they heard that crap, they got them up out of there. Go ahead. That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Right. Let's go to um, Acts chapter 15, verse 1. Some of y'all know this already, but we're going to read it again. And again, and again, and again. It's a Christ code. Acts 15 and 1. Acts chapter 15 and verse 1. Come on. And certain men which came down from Judea. Come on. Taught the brethren. They taught the brethren. They was in their teaching. Go ahead. And said, except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. They came in talking about unless you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Which is blasphemy. Which is a heretic. Heresies. Skip down to verse 5. Verse 5. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees uh -huh. which believed. Which believed, read. Saying that it was needful to circumcise them uh -huh. and to command them to keep the law of Moses. And to command them to keep the law of Moses. Go ahead. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. Watch this. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, you know how that a good while ago God made choke made choice among us Read. that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. Go ahead. And God which know of the heart bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost even as he did unto us. Read. And put no difference between us and them. And he put no difference between us and them. Read. Purifying their hearts by faith. Purifying their hearts by what? By faith. It was by faith. Go to Galatians 3 real quick. Verse 2. Yes, sir. They received the Holy Spirit by faith, not by the works of the law, which was animal sacrifice. Watch this. Galatians 3, verse 2. We'll come right back to Acts 15. Galatians 3 and verse 2. Go ahead. This only would I learn of you. Read. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law. Did you receive the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, by the works of the law because you did animal sacrifice and the customs? Read. Or by the hearing of faith. Or did you get it by the hearing of faith? Let's go to Acts chapter 13 or Acts chapter 10, verse 43. Acts 10, 43. The book of Acts chapter 10 and verse 43. Come on. To him give all the prophets witness uh -huh. that through his name, whosoever believeth in him Read. shall receive remission of sin. Watch this. While Peter yet spake these words. By, by Peter yet spake these words to the brothers. The Holy Ghost fell on all of them. No, no, no. It was the words of the law. The Holy Ghost fell on all of them. Why what? Why what? While Which, Peter? While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter yet spake these words, not the works of the law. While Peter yet spake these words, read. The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. When they heard the Bible, when they heard the, the, the Holy, when they heard the Holy Spirit that was upon the apostle Peter, it said, look, the Spirit came upon them. It was through the apostles' teaching that they received the Spirit through the words of God. It was not through animal sacrifice, the works of the law. That's why Paul said, I got a question. How did you receive it? 
They didn't receive it through animal sacrifice. They received it through the hearing of faith. Go back to Acts 15, verse 9 again. The book of Acts, Start at 8. chapter 15, verse 8. Come on. And God which know of the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. Because see, a lot of y'all want to get our pre-sale packet or pre-sale book thinking you're going to confound us, the Holy Spirit with us. You're going to read all our precepts in the precept book, and it will come with a hundred more that you ain't never seen or heard before. Because the Holy Spirit with us. And we don't take it for granted either. We are grateful for it. And we're going to continue to, em, to em, oh, what, word, what I'm looking for? Bask in it by keeping the commandments and the faith in the Son of God. Read it again. And God which know the hearts, bear them witness. Read. Giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. Come on. And put no difference between us and them. Read. Purifying their hearts by faith. He purified their heart by faith. This is talking about Cornelius and his brethren and his sisters that was amongst him. You understand? They received it through the, through the, faith, through, uh, the hearing of faith. Go back to Galatians 2. No, nah, you ain't got to read that. Go back to Galatians. No, go to Galatians 2. Go to 2 Peter 2, verse 1. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, and verse 1. Yep. But there were false prophets also among the people. Go ahead. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. Read. Who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. They bring in damnable heresies like you got to know the name. Oh, if you don't use the name Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah Baraka Thai, if you don't use that, you're going to hell, brother. It don't matter all the great works you do, traveling all over the world teaching God's people, teaching people to keep God's laws, helping build marriages, helping brothers raise their families, helping brothers get jobs, helping them do, do the right thing, keep God's laws. No, brother, you ain't using the name that we use. You ain't using the Haya, Shia, Haya, whatever the hell. You ain't using that. So you ain't going to get the kingdom. That's blasphemy. That's a damnable heresy. That's what they was doing in Acts 15. Reading in. But there are false prophets also among the people. Go ahead. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. Go ahead. Privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them. Right. They'll come in and say, oh, if you ain't up under general such and such, or you ain't up under commander such and such, you ain't in the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. It ain't about no one man. Bishop Nathaniel is the first man that will say all praises to the most high, uh, uh, most high God and his son, Jesus the Christ. First one that give credit to the men around him that have helped him build this thing. Bishop was the first one to tell you, I didn't do this alone. The Lord put the spirit on me and then he put the spirit on the bishops and the deacons and now we all in this fight together. But a nigga, a nigga will tell you, if you ain't learning from such and such, then you ain't, man, get out of here, man. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Yeah. The hell it is. I'm going to keep my comment to myself. Back to 2 Peter 2. Read verse uh, 1 again. 2 Peter chapter 2. He just bit the bottom, even denying. Yes, sir. Even denying the Lord that bought them. Read. And, bringing up, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. God going to bring judgment on these folks for that. Go ahead. And many shall follow their per pernicious, pernicious ways. Many people are going to follow their pernicious ways, their wicked, evil, deceptive ways. Go ahead. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And they say, oh, if you following Nate, if you would I, you, I see them purple faggots, but yet these men doing all these great works on the earth. Come on, man, get out of here. Go ahead. And through covetousness shall they with feign words. Show me, show me their eyes full of covetousness. And through what? And through covetousness. Because they want money. They want position. They want a title. They want women. Go ahead. Shall they with feign words Go ahead. make merchandise of you? And they do what? Make merchandise of you. Want you to buy their clothes. Want you to buy their products. Want you to, instead of, instead of on the Sabbath keeping the commandments, they got a damn booth set up while they teaching camp to sell you product. S selling on the Sabbath when the Bible clearly say that you ain't supposed to buy and sell on God's Sabbath. Hey. But because they love money, because they love position, because they want fame of this world, they get aligned with rappers of this world, music producers of this world. I'm going to get their ass killed by these damn folks trying to align themselves with them. Why? Because they don't want to do it the right way. They don't want to keep the commandments for it. They don't want to do the work for it. They don't want to use the Holy Spirit. 
You understand? The hell it is. Keep reading. And through covetousness shall they with framed words make merchandise of you. Go ahead. Whose judgments now of a long time lingereth not. Read. And their damnation slumbereth not. And their damnation slumbereth not. Skip down to verse 10. Watch this. Verse 10. Go ahead. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness Read. and despise government. That's it right there. They don't like government. They like titles. They like to say, oh, I'm a such and such and such and such. I'm this of that thousand. I'm this and this. But they don't like government. They don't like structure. Niggas hate structure. Niggas hate order. Niggas don't want to fall in line. They want to be equal or surpass you. That's called emulation. And that's one of the works of the flesh. Read again. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Presumptuous are they. Presumptuous are they, read. Self-willed. So the Bible was presumptuous mean bold. Bold are they, read. Self-willed. Self-willed, meaning you give them an order, you give them instruction. The Bible say this, they say, I'm going to do my own damn thing. I'm going to make up my own doctrine. Go ahead. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity. They're not able to speak evil of dignity. That's why they'll call our bishop out his name, our other bishops out their name, our deacons out their name. That's why they do that. Same spirit then, same spirit now. You understand? Um, skip down just for sake of time. Verse 14. Verse 14. Go ahead. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Read. Beguiling unstable souls. And they'll trick you. You'll get tricked by these people. They're unstable. They beguile unstable souls. Those of you that's teetering the crowd, right, I don't know if I can have multiple wives or not. I don't know if I can eat lamb, I mean, excuse me, shrimp, crab, and lobster or not. I don't know if it's, I, I kind of feel like it ain't nothing wrong with smoking weed. I kind of feel like it ain't nothing wrong with me having multiple women. I kind of feel like I can marry them dude from another camp. Okay, go ahead. But you could do that out there, though, because we don't do that here. You know what we teach, and we ain't changing the doctrine for none of y'all because y'all want to be wicked. The Bible said right here, having eyes full of adultery. Look, they why they can't. They love it when the camera turn around. Ooh, I, I see got all the bad women. Be all up in our women DM. All up in our sister DM. Some of you women stupid as hell. You follow that crap, and then you end up being wife number sixteen, and he take your paycheck. Simple ass women. Read again. And having eyes full of adultery. And having eyes full of adultery. And they cannot cease from sin. And won't stop sinning. Go ahead. Beguiling unstable soul. And they trick unstable soul because you are unstable because you double-minded. You won't stick with one doctrine. You got to jump from multiple, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. Whatever fits your lust, whatever floats your boat, that's what you want. Itching ears. Looking for somebody to scratch that itch. Ooh, multiple wives. Oh, he scratched it. Ooh, you can have little nine-year-old girls. Oh, he scratched that. Oh, you ain't got to wear fringes. Oh, he scratched that. Telling you. Go ahead. Beguiling unstable soul. Read. And heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. The Bible said they're cursed children. Cursed children. You understand? Cursed children. Let me see if that's all I want. Yep. Let me get up out of there because I'm being enough of Um, Go from there real quick. Go to Romans 16, 17. So just like during the time of the Apostle Paul, it's the same, time, same thing now. Brethren, false brethren going to creep into the body and try to pull you out the truth. And if you simple as hell and follow after that, it's because you ain't been paying attention, you ain't been studying, you ain't been guarding your spirit. Come on. Hey. Romans 16, verse 17. Come on. Now I beseech you, brethren. Go ahead. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrines which ye have learned uh -huh. and avoid them. The Bible say, tell on them. You're supposed to bring that forth. Hey, hey, brother such and such was in the study circle saying that the Sabbath is every day. So the such and such called my phone saying, she don't like Captain Galilee. She got a problem with him, what he teach. She got a problem with Bishop Nathaniel. She got a problem with Captain Josiah. But some of y'all don't do that because some of y'all feel the same way. You got itching ears. So you sit there and let them disrespect your leadership. You let them, watch this. Give me Acts 15, 24 right quick. Because a lot of y'all disrespectful towards the leadership. And we not going to have that happen up in the body. Bring it out. You not going to disrespect the leaders. You not going to disrespect the prophets. I go over with you sisters all the time to respect the prophets. Hey. 
I go over with you brothers all the time to respect the prophets. Some of you think you're going to do that. It ain't happening up in here. We will not tolerate disrespect to the men that put their lives on the line for the gospel. That's right. Read that for me. Acts 15, 24. Come on. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us Read. have troubled you with words. Read. Subverting your soul. Yeah, that subverting your soul got you jacked up. Read. Saying, ye must be circumcised and keep the law to whom we gave no such commandment. The prophet said, we didn't give him no such commandment to teach y'all that. We didn't give him no such commandment to say that y'all got to go back to animal sacrifice. No, we never told nobody that. These men are self-willed, pernicious, beguiling, unstable souls. Read 22. I missed it. Verse 22. Go ahead. Then please it the apostles and elders. Watch this. With the whole church to sin. Chosen men. To send who? Chosen men. Who are the prophets? Chosen men. Who are the leaders? Chosen men. Who are the leaders of IUIC? Chosen men. These are chosen men. Go ahead. Of their own company Read. to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, surnamed Barsabbas, and Silas, chief men among the brethren. Go ahead. And wrote letters by them after this matter. Come on. The apostles and elders and brethren send greeting unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. Go ahead. For as much as we have heard, that certain which, I, which excuse me, and, and for as much as we have heard, that certain which went out from us Read. have troubled you with words. They have troubled you with words. Go ahead. Subverting your souls. Subverting your souls. Saying ye must be circumcised. Come on, give me some images here. I got some. Go ahead, read it again. Keep, have troubled your souls with words. Subverting your souls, saying... You must be circumcised and keep the law to whom we gave no such commandment. Because the apostles didn't get that commandment. They were doing their own thing. Read. It seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Watch this. Men that have hazarded their lives. Wait a minute. Hold on. What the Bible said these men do? Men have hazarded their lives. It's men that have hazarded their lives. We go out on the street and hazard our lives out there to teach the gospel. Then come in the congregation and a brother and a sister going to disrespect us? A brother and a sister going to talk crap about us? Huh? Going to want to do harm to us? The Bible said, give me Psalms 105 right quick, man. Psalms 105. Let's go. And I want verse 15. Sure. The book of Psalms, chapter 105 and verse 15. Go ahead. Say, touch not mine anointed. Read. And do my prophets no harm. Read again. Say, touch not mine anointed. The Bible said, don't touch God's anointed. And do my prophets no harm. And you better not do no harm to God's prophets. Men that have hazarded their lives to bring forth the gospel. Hey. Take time off from work. Risk getting fired. Risk losing it all to go teach the gospel. They're going to come back to their home state and get disrespected. Hell no. Hell no. That's Not up in here. Right. Go back. Uh, what was I at? I can't even remember. Romans 16. Romans 16, 17 again. Romans 16, 17. Come on. Now I beseech you, brethren. Come on. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. The Bible says mark them. When you mark somebody, you let it be known they speak in heresies. They're blaspheming. Go ahead. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. Mm. And by good words and fair speeches, Deceive the hearts of the simple. Because you simple. So they come and say, hey, sister, how you doing? Give me a call sometime. Come over to my house sometime. Let's talk. Let's go get drinks. I mean, one time my wife was having a get together and she asked me, she said, hey, I want to get her some. some I said, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. It's going to be nothing but women there, right? She said, yeah. I said, and alcohol? She said, well, it was just going to be something light. I said, hell no. Yes. Hell no. Was I wrong? Give me, you know what I want. Sirach 42, 13. Was I wrong for telling her that? Because I know some of y'all said, so y'all so don't let y'all wives have get together yet, but there's going to be some righteousness up in there. You start out, 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 adding alcohol, the next thing you know, wickedness come about. Read that for me. Sirach 42, 13. Start at 12. Verse 12. Behold not everybody's beauty. Read. And sit not in the midst of women. Why? For from garments come a moth, and from women 
wickedness. You hear that? You got these women sitting around drinking, some wickedness is, about, is bound to happen. You're going to hear about some heresy being brought up or some gossip happening. Not under my watch. Not in my rib. Hell no. Hey. You ain't finna be the one. Sit your ass down. Straight up. Go back. Matter of fact, you can drop Romans 16. Let's move on. Let's go from there. Let's go back to uh, Galatians. Chapter 1, verse 8 now. Read 7. The book of Galatians, chapter 1 and verse 7. You're about, about to close it off. Which is not another. Which is not another, not another gospel read. But there be some that trouble you. And there's some that come amongst you troubling you, got you thinking different, subverting you. Go ahead. And will pervert the gospel of Christ. And their goal is to pervert the gospel of Christ. Come on. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach another gospel unto you. Though we are an angel of, from heaven. Go ahead. Preach another gospel unto you than that which we have preached read. unto you. Let him be a curse. So what does it mean, but though we are an angel from heaven? Let's see. Give me 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. He served. Though we are an angel from heaven. What is he talking about? You're going to learn today. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Go ahead. But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through, your, through his subtility, uh -huh. so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Here's a question. Who deceived Eve? It was Satan. Who was that angel that come down from heaven? It's Satan. That's what he's talking about. He's talking about the spiritual demon, Satan. So, but I feel that by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. So your mind should be, should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Go ahead. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Come on. Whom we have not preached. Read. Or if ye receive another spirit uh -huh. which ye have not received. Go ahead. Or another gospel which ye have not accepted. Go ahead. Ye might well bear with him. You might well bear with him, right? Skip down to verse 12. Verse 12. But what I do, that I will do. Uh-huh. That I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion. Who desire occasion? Them false brethren crept in on the way we was talking about. Young people end up, young brothers in the body that think they know more than the leadership. They end up having to get their ass checked and corrected. Go ahead. That wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. Watch this. For such are false apostles. It said, for such are false apostles. False apostles. Give me that image again. Verse 16, I think it is. Give me that image again. Show these false apostles whose eyes is full of covetousness. These ain't the real prophets. These ain't the real prophets. These are the false apostles. Go ahead. For such are false apostles. Breathe. Deceitful workers. They're deceitful workers. Go ahead. Transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Trying to transform themselves into the apostles of Christ. Go ahead. And no marvel. Uh -huh. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Right. So Satan himself transformed into an angel of light. I think I had that 23. I think it is. 23a, angel, Satan himself as an angel of light. When Satan appeared to Eve, he did not appear in dark, in a dark form. He didn't look like the devil. He looked like an angel of light. Huh? Go to the next one I had, 23. He looked like an angel of light when he came to, the, to our uh, foremother Eve, the mother of all living. He came down and looked as if he was on Christ's side, on God's side. Bruh. But he was a serpent. Watch this. Genesis 1 verse 3. Transform into an angel of light. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. The book of Genesis 1 verse 3. Go ahead. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Mm -hmm. And God saw the light that it was good. Read. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God dis divided the light from the darkness. Read. And God called the light. Day mm. and the darkness he called night. Read. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Right. So it said, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. When God said, let there be light, what is that talking about? Give me that in John chapter 1, verse 1. We're going to be quick. John chapter 1, verse 1. The book of John chapter 1 and verse 1. Go ahead. In the beginning was the Word. Read. And the Word was with God. And the Word was with God. Read. And the Word was God. Right, because Christ was with God and the angels. God created Christ first, and then Christ created the angels. That's the way that it went. That was the order. Go ahead. 
The same was in the beginning with God. Read. All things were made by him. All things were made by him, Christ. Read. And without him was not anything made that was made. Watch this. In him was life. Uh -huh. And the life was the light of men. And life was the light of men. Watch this. And the light shineth in darkness. Mm. And the darkness comprehended it not. Right. Come on. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Watch this. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light. He bear witness of the light. How is that light spelled? Is that a capital L? In my Bible, it's a capital L. You got that old English. Mine is a capital L. Why is it a capital L? Because Christ was that light from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 3. Read it again. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, uh -huh. that all men through him might believe. Watch this. He was not that light. So John was not that light. Go ahead. But was sent to bear witness of that light. He was sent to bear witness of that light. That light is Christ. Go ahead. That was the true light. And Christ is the true light. Go ahead. Which lighteth every man uh -huh. that cometh into the world. Watch this. Skip down to verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. And the word was made flesh. And that light, which is the word of God, which is Christ, the son of God, became flesh. Go ahead. That's and right. And among us. Read. And we beheld his glory. Uh -huh. The glory as of the only begotten of the father. Read. Full of grace and truth. Watch this. Go to John 9 and 5. The book of John, chapter 9 and verse 5. Go ahead. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Christ said, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. The Lord separated the light from the darkness, and he called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Hey. Go from there. John, chapter 12, verse 32. Yes, sir. The book of John, chapter 12. Start and, 35, excuse me. And verse 30. Verse 35. Yep. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Mm -hmm. Walk while ye have the light. Walk while you have me with you. Lest darkness come upon come upon you. Lest Satan and his angels come upon you. Go ahead. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. Right. He that walketh in sin, uh, following after Satan, don't know which way he going. Come on. While ye have light, believe in the light. So while you got me on this earth, while you have light, Believe in it. Go ahead. That ye may be the children of light. That you may be the what? Children of light. That you may be the children of light. That's right. That you may be the children of light. Go from there. Let me see what I wanted next. I had a few more things with that. Go to there. Go to uh, back to Genesis 1, verse 3 again. You see me? That you may be the children of light. We're going to go back to the children of light in a minute. Matter of fact, go to the first Thessalonians 5 real quick. Let's go there first. 5 verse 4. I'm almost done. I'm about to finish it up here, here in just a second. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 4, then we'll go back to Genesis. So though an angel from heaven, Satan himself, come down teaching another gospel, we ain't hearing it. Go ahead. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 4. Come on. But be ye brethren are not in darkness. But ye brethren but are, ye brethren are but not in darkness. Are not in darkness. That 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 day should not overtake you as a thief. That that day should overtake you as a thief. Yes, sir. Read again. That that day should overtake you as a thief. Go ahead. You are all the children of light. You are all the children of light. Go ahead. And the children of the day. You hear that? You are the children of light and the children of day. I mean to tell you what? These people that we read that he writing about right now was with Christ and the Father in the beginning. Them spirits was in the heavens. Now in these last days, they understand the truth of Christ. They understand the mysteries of the Bible. They're keeping the commandments. He said, you're the children of the light. You're the children of the day. You ain't going to get caught up in the mystery that's going to happen in the day of darkness. You're not going to get caught up in the mystery that everybody else get caught up in because you're the children of light. You see clearly. Come on. We are not of the night, Read. nor of darkness. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. We are not of Satan and his angels. So even if an angel come down from heaven... For showing himself to be in the church, showing himself to be in the angel of light. We ain't gonna hear that. Wait a minute, hold on. You say Christ ain't black? Oh, I know you the devil. <laughs> I don't care how good you look. I don't care how much power it seems like you got. I don't care how many great speeches and how many precepts you know. You start teaching against what we done learned, let you be accursed. 
You creep in here talking about you actually with us, but you teaching false doctrine, saying the bishop wrong, let you be accursed. That's, That's what the Bible right. saying. Can you read? Therefore, let us not sleep. As do others. Read. But let us watch uh -huh. and be sober. But let us watch and be sober. Come on. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. It said, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. Go ahead. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. So they sleep and they drunk because they don't keep the commandments. Because they're not the children of light. They're the children of darkness. Go ahead. Hey. But let us who are of the day be sober. Let us be sober. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Read. And for an helmet. The hope of salvation. Go ahead. For God have not appointed us to wrath. He didn't appoint us to wrath, but he appointed them to wrath. When they come teaching a different gospel, a different doctrine, they may look like us. They may want fringes like us. They may have a beard like us. But as soon as they open their mouth, their speech bereaves them. They are not with us. Hey. Come on. But to obtain salvation Read. by our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. Who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we shall live together with him. Right. We shall live together with him whether we are alive or dead when he returns. That's what that means. Go back. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 again. Genesis 1 and verse 3. Come on. And God said, let there be light. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. That was Christ. And then Christ created his angels. Go ahead. And God saw the light that it was good. And God saw Christ was good. And then Christ created everything after him. Go ahead. And God divided the light from the darkness. And Christ created the darkness as well. Bishop, I mean, Deacon uh, Malachi went the other day. Christ is God, is, is uh, Satan's God too. He above Satan. That's why the angels, do, uh, I mean, not the angels, the devils, they worship Christ. They bow down to his feet. They was afraid when he came on the scene and said, we know who thou art, Jesus of Nazareth. Have thou come to um, uh, torment us before the time? We know we got longer now. Go ahead. And God called the light day, uh -huh. and the darkness he called night. And the day and the night is going into the good angels and the evil angels. We're going to show you that. Go from there. Revelation. No, go to Psalms 78. Well, yeah, go to Revelation 7, 12 and 7 first. 12 and 7 through 9. And then I'm gonna Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. Go ahead. And there was a war in heaven. There was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Michael and his angels. Fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels. Because then the dragon fought and his angels. These are the day and the night. You understand? The good angels and the evil angels at war. Hey. Michael and his angels fight against Satan and his angels in the spiritual realm. And in the physical realm, it's going to be war on this earth. Nations fighting against one another. Go ahead. And prevail not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Read. And the great dragon was cast out. Mm -hmm. That old serpent Go ahead. called the devil and Satan, Read. which deceived the whole world. Read. He was cast out into the earth. Satan was cast out into the earth. And his angels. And were, what? His angels. And his angels. They, they are of the night. They are darkness. Go ahead. Were cast out with him. And they were cast out with him. Woo! That's some fire right there. Go to Psalms chapter 78, verse 49. We're talking about evil angels. There are such things as evil angels, y'all. That's right. Watch this. I had some pictures in, the, in there, too, that I had posted. You can use any of them, any of them dark angels. Yeah, read that for me. The book of Psalm 78, 49. Go ahead. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger. Read. Wrath and indignation. By doing what? And trouble by sending evil angels among them. Wait a minute. Hold up. What the Bible say? By sending evil evil angels among them. There are a such thing as evil angels. The Lord created them for vengeance. Give me that. You know what I want. Sirach 39, 28. The Lord created them for vengeance. They, they fulfill his will. He got good angels that's on his side the, of the day and then he got the evil angels. You understand? That do his bidding as well. The Father controlled them all. He created darkness. He created darkness and light. He created good and evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. <laughs> Read it out. Read that for me. The book of Sirach 39 and 28. Come on. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. The Lord creates certain spirits for vengeance. Go ahead. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in their fury they lay on sore strokes. Go ahead. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. And appease the wrath of him that made them. And they appease God's wrath. God said, ah. My wrath is appeased. Oh, good now. Go ahead. 
fire and hell and uh -huh. famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Read. Teeth of wild beasts uh -huh. and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Punishing the wicked to destruction. Go ahead. They shall rejoice in his commandment. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Go ahead. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. Watch this. Go to 1 Kings real quick. 1 Kings, the vision of our forefather Micaiah, all right, or Micaiah, right, which was a prophet. Go to 1 Kings chapter 22. Yes, sir. And let's read verse uh, 19. Yes, sir. The book of 1 Kings chapter 22 and verse 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him. Read. On his right hand and on his left. Read. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab? Who gonna persuade Ahab? Read. That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. Read. And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. Uh -huh. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth. And I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. You hear that? He said, go forth. He said, how are you going to do it? He said, I'm going to go forth and be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets. Go ahead. And he said, thou shalt persuade him. He said, you shall persuade him. Go ahead. And prevail also. Go forth and do so. Go ahead. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. And the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. And the Lord has spoken evil concerning Ahab. Bro, listen. That's some fire right there. The Lord sent a lying spirit down to deceive this man so he'll go to war and die. The Lord got evil angels that appease his wrath, y'all. He got his good angels. He got his children of the light, the angels of the day. Then he got the angels of the night that's with Satan. And they meant to do evil on this earth and to push his evil on this earth. Whatever the Lord wants to happen, he going to let it happen. Evil's being most plowed on the earth. The Lord allowed that. Give me Isaiah 45 and 7. I know it's a hard pill for some of y'all to swallow, but it's the Bible. Is it? Can't nothing go down on the Lord's watch without him knowing it. What's wrong with y'all? The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 7. Read. I form the light. I form the light. And create darkness. And create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, I make peace and create evil. Read. I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the Lord, do all these things. Go back to Galatians 1. Matter of fact, go, go to uh, Sirach, uh 33, 15 real quick. Start at 14. Verse 14. So the evil angels, the evil spirits that inhabit the so-called white man, which is the devil, Satan, his, his Satan sins, and dispatches his evil angels and they enter into the so-called white man. That's why he do obeisance to the, to, the, to the devil. That's why he got all these idols and things of that nature behind cold doors. Doing much evil. Y'all hey. can't see it because you ain't in the spirit. Read. The book of Sirach 33 and verse 14. Good is set against evil. See that? Read. And life against death. Read. So is the godly against the sinner. So is the godly against the sinner. And the sinner against the godly. The godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly is the same thing we read in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. It's just written in a parable where it's not meant to be understood by some. But all praise the Lord revealed it to our, our forefathers. And the Lord now has revealed it to our elders who have now revealed it to us. Now we see clearly. Now we ain't got no excuse to not keep the commandments. None. Hey. All these deep mysteries coming out of the Bible is all to give us more belief. Make us believe, have faith. Not so we just occupy ourselves in it all the time and not study the basics, but so that we have faith and continue to fight, knowing that the wisdom is with us. All we got to do when that persecution come is keep on pushing. Read what you got. So look up on all the works of the Most High. Read. And there are two and two. One against another. One against another. Good against evil. Light against darkness. Day against the night. That's right. Watch this. Go from there. Let's go back to Galatians chapter 1 verse 8 now. Let's finish it off. The book of Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. Uh -huh. But though we or an angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you. Read. Then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. 
And as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you uh -huh. than that ye have received, let him be accursed. If, if, listen, if any man, he first he said an angel from heaven. Then he said a man. These spirits go back to 2 Corinthians 11. Read verse 13 through 15 again. These spirits occupy men. These spirits are in men. I'm going to show you. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter th 11, chapter 13. 11 and verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, Read. transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Watch this. And no marvel. And no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Read. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Right. So the Bible telling you, that's why Paul wrote in Galatians, though an angel from heaven or a man. What is he saying? That spirit that came down from heaven, Satan is in man. That same spirit that revealed himself unto our foremother Eve, that deceived her, that same spirit is in man, the children of disobedience, the prince of the power of the air, the spiritual wickedness in high places. The Bible saying the same thing over and over and over. Satan and his angels that must be cast out, that deceive the whole world. Right? Go back. Watch this. Galatians 1 verse 9 now. Galatians 1 verse 9. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you, read. Then that ye have received, Go ahead. let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. What does it mean, let him be accursed? Watch this. John 8, 44. We almost done. John 8, verse 44. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 44. Come on. Ye are of your father, the devil. He's talking to the scribes and Pharisees. He said, listen, you are of your father, the devil. Go ahead. And the lust of your father ye will do. Go ahead. He was a murderer from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning, going into Cain. And abode not in the truth. And he abode not in the truth. Because, he didn't want to do right. Go ahead. Because there is no truth in him. Because ain't no truth in him. Go ahead. When he speaketh a lie, uh -huh. he speaketh of his own. Read. For he is a liar and the father of it. Now, who is the father of the scribes and Pharisees? Let's see. John 11, verse 46. Bring it out. You are of your father, the devil, Satan. Children of darkness. The book of John, chapter 11, and verse 46. Go ahead. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Read. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, Read. What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. Go ahead. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. Everybody going to believe him? And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. You hear what they were worried about? They weren't worried about walking right with the, sp with the Spirit. They weren't worried about walking right with Christ, keeping the commandments, teaching the commandments. No, they was worried about the white man taking a position. That's why Christ said, you of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's the spirit they had in them. So Paul wrote to us to exhort us to stay in the faith. He said, I don't care if an angel come down from heaven. I don't care if this person come in the spirit, look like they in the spirit teaching all this great wisdom. As soon as they start telling you, you ain't got to keep the laws. As soon as they start saying, hey, Christ ain't black. Oh, you can have multiple wives. Oh, you ain't, you can eat pork. Oh, you ain't got, you can buy and sell on the side. Matter of fact, come out here and help us sell our merchandise. That ain't of Christ. That ain't of Christ. That's of the devil, brethren. That's of the, that's of the devil. And watch what's going to happen to him. Revelation. Revelation chapter 20. Verse 2. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, and verse 2. Read. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Give me them images. And bound him a thousand years. And bound him a thousand years. Who will give? Show them images. We got some right here. Who will get bound a thousand years? Watch this. The devil and Satan. The spiritual demon Satan and then his counterpart, the so-called white man. His, his physical counterpart, the so-called white man. I got some images right here of them being in chains, too. I had some images of them being in chains on that last photo y'all had, though. Show them. Oh, yeah, he going to burn, too. Oh, he going to burn. We ain't got that yet, though. We ain't got that yet. We'll get that in a minute. Watch this. He going to burn, though. We'll get that in a minute. Give me them images of him in chains. Because the Bible said, what? Read again. 
And he laid hold on the dragon, uh. that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, Go ahead. and bound him a thousand years. And he going to get bound a thousand years, read. And cast him into the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit in Europe. Go ahead. And shut him up and set a seal upon him. Read. That he should be de- that he should deceive the nations no more. Go ahead. Till the thousand years should be fulfilled. Uh huh. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And after that, he's gonna be loosed a little season. Watch this. Get down to verse ten now. Verse now. Now you can bring them blaze. Now you can bring that fire. Come on. Verse ten. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. Instead of no, not that one. Not that one. Don't pull that one yet. Go ahead. Read it again. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and The devil and that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. Go ahead. Where the beast and the false prophet are. Where the beast and the false. You pull us down. Where the beast and the false prophet are. Where the beast and the false prophet are. Go ahead. And shall be tormented day and night mm. forever and ever. Forever. That's what it means. Let them be a curse. You come out here teaching that Bible the wrong way. You come up here deceiving God's people, telling them Christ ain't black. We ain't the Israelites. We ain't got to keep the commandments. That you the Jew? The Lord said, no, you're going to burn forever and ever. Come on. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Go ahead. And there was found no place for them. Watch this. Come on. And I saw the dead, small and great. Now, these are the Israelites that's been asleep for a thousand years. Go ahead. Stand before God. Read. And the books were open. Go ahead. And another book was open. Read. Which is the book of life. Come on. And the dead were judged out of those things uh-huh. which were written in the books according to their works. So if you ain't been keeping the commandments, you're going to get judged. Go ahead. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Uh-huh. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. Read. And they were judged every man according to their work. Everybody coming up. Read. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Go ahead. This is the second death. This is the second death. Read. And who was and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And if you was not found in the written in the book of life, you're gonna be cast into the lake of fire. This is what it means, let them be accursed. You teaching a different gospel, a different doctrine, trying to pervert God's people, trying to pervert the gospel, subvert whole houses. That's an evil thing right there. That's an evil thing. And you're going to get the judgment for it. You better leave God's people alone. You see this image right here? That's Zechariah 14 and 12. Read that real quick. Pull us down. That's Zechariah 14 12. Bring it Somebody going to try to pull their cell phone out when it's happening, thinking they're going to go viral. There ain't going to be no viral to go. <laughs> There ain't going to be no more computers or laptops. It's all weird. What? Read it. Zechariah 14 verse 12. Come on. And this shall be the plague. Read. With the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Read. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Go ahead. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. That's what you're looking at right down the screen. Go ahead. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Read. And it's shall come- And their tongue shall what? Consume away in their mouth. That's the only image you got like that? I thought I had a few more images like that. Maybe I don't. Oh, yeah. Trying to go viral. Trying to do a selfie. Go get burned. <laughs> what would Officer uh, Mishael say? Blast the smithereens. Huh? You understand that? Go from there. Last scripture, Revelation 21 and 8. So don't let nobody pull you away from this gospel, from this truth. You in the right place learning the right thing. Hey. You don't care if it's an angel from heaven, the spiritual demon Satan coming down as an angel of light to you. I don't care how good they look. How well they speak, it don't matter. If they come at you like that, they're going to burn. Watch this. That's Read. right. Revelation 21, verse 8. Come on. But the fearful uh-huh. and unbelieving. And unbelieving. And the abominable. And the abominable. And murderous. Murderous. And whoremongers. Uh-huh. And sorcerers. Go ahead. And idolaters. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. They're going to burn in the lake of fire and brimstone, which is... The second death. Brothers and sisters, this ain't nothing to play with. Stand fast. Give me that stand fast in the liberty wherewith you are uh, called. Second Corinthians 15, 58. Or first Corinthians 15, 58. Don't lead this truth. Don't follow no dude up out of here, sisters. Don't follow no woman up out of here, brothers. Stay in the fight. And no matter what they're doing, you stay here. You keep these commandments. Watch this. First Corinthians 15, 58. Yes, sir. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, and verse 58. Go ahead. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, 
always abounding in the work of the Lord. Uh -huh. For as much as you know that your that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Right. We got to keep the commandments until the end. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You got to keep on pushing. Don't give up. Never give up. Never give in. I don't care who come teaching what, how close they are to you, what you, how you feel about them. It don't matter. Hey. You got to stay in this fight. You got to keep on pushing. You know what you've been taught and you know who you learn from. Just stay strong in the Lord. All right. So I hope y'all got something from that class. Uh, though an angel from heaven, no matter who it is, you got to keep on pushing. Stand on your ground. Ten toes. All right. Shalom. Most high, like great bless Israel. Come on, we need y'all to subscribe to help us push. We got a lot of work to do in North Carolina. The Carolinas need this work. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Carolinas need this work. So we need y'all to go and subscribe right now. Grab your finger. This one right here in particular. Right. Swipe the YouTube that you're probably already watching. Click the YouTube app. Right. Go to IUIC Riley page. Right up under there, it says subscribe. Click that button one time. Click that check. Subscribe to IUIC Riley. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Come on, my nation is men leading by example. 